Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Jason. Jason's House of Fun and Video Games bringing you today Thrift Time and Finds Volume 32. And if you didn't get that jittery feeling up your arms, your goosebumps, by seeing what was in my hand as you clicked on this video, then I don't know what to tell you. Or maybe you're just not interested in that kind of thing. But anyway... What I found, other than obviously other things, that one particular item is something I have searched for up and down, left and right, all over the place in the thrifts. And I've only found one. But I have a funny feeling now that i found one, I'm going to find another. And we're going to get to that, but I'm leaving that for the end because it's super special and I have a lot to say about it. But that is definitely my best find ever. I've gotten video games, I've gotten awesome DVDs, great VHS, nothing compares to that. And why? We're going to get into it. But, let's go over our latest finds, other than that, at the thrift. But first, I want to see what you, want to see what you all think, right? Check this out. Tell me that doesn't look creepy. Yep, yeah, that's right. It's the Halloween season. A whole month should be dedicated to Halloween. Every day should be Halloween. Nightmare Before Christmas was correct. And anyway, let's get to the finds before I get wrapped up. Because there's a bunch of other stuff I want to talk about too after. And see what your thoughts are on all that. So, we're not going to go in any particular order because I don't feel like it. And I'm me. So, first up, I know what you did last summer on DVD. How do I feel about the series? I like the first one. I thought the first one was really good. Um, disc looked great. Back when DVDs, it's kind of like talking about video games, right? Back when DVDs actually had things to them, like the basic DVD, not just... You know, sometimes you just find it, you know, just bare bones. But uh, it has a little booklet in it and uh, gives some basic information, if you will, about the movie and about um, the kind of things that went into the movie, I guess. But uh, pretty cool. This isn't a very common thing to find. I would call this an uncommon DVD. I have not seen this in the thrift, and I have not seen this since... God, how long has it been? 97, 98, probably 2000 was probably the last time I may have seen this in a bargain bin, but I'm super excited to add it to the collection. And one thing you don't know, and we'll go over kind of like a mini update of the game room, is I kind of had to make some space for some things that are up and coming for the collection at some point. I don't know really when, but I wanted to get a jump on it. And I did want to kind of move things around in the game room because every once in a while you have to do that. You have to freshen things up. And I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I did my first big move so that I wouldn't have to do it all of a sudden and take all day to do it, basically. Because time is never on my side. But anyway, that's a pretty cool find. Let me know if you've seen this movie, what you think. How did I feel about the sequel? Eh. It didn't hold up to the original, as most movies do not, but uh, I thought this was great for the time. It certainly has that 90s undertone to it in every which way. Scream came out and a thousand movies after kind of repeated it, but I'm a horror fan and it was interesting and I've never seen uh, a guy with a hook except for Candyman, so pretty cool and uh, cool story. I think the actors did a really good job on it. And yeah, that's all I got to say about it. So I'm excited to add it. I'm not going to be going after many DVDs anymore. You'll find out why later. I'm kind of speaking in future ten, uh, future sense as opposed to the current sense or current tense. But uh, you'll understand why after. So I'm going to have to do this myself for a change. It's kind of weird. We're going to put this big old bag down here. Move some stuff out of the way. I could have done this before, but... Clearly, I just don't plan things ahead, or I'm kind of just doing this on the whim, but it's okay. It's cool. That's what we do here. Um, let's go over some VHSs. So, I'm kind of slowing down on the VHSs. 
and then I'm not, and I am, I'm not. I think I've got myself into another rabbit hole, not with the VHSs, but with something else. But if I see a VHS that is a movie that I really enjoyed or something uh, about it interested me or whatever, maybe the actor, the performance, whatever it may be, I'm going to grab it, but I'm not going to go too crazy because I've kind of gotten most of the VHSs I want. Some of them that I do want are extremely expensive, so um, i got to put this so you can actually see that. That makes more sense. Um, where was I? Lost my train of thought. This is what happens, and I'm cool with it. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a lot more VHSs. I have some horror ones I certainly want, at least three more horrors. Probably more, but there's three more that I'm, like, dead set on. And uh, we'll see how that works out. But anyway, let's go through the rest of the fight, shall we? Because we're going to get lost. I am a rabbit hole. <laughs> Michael. Not Michael Myers. He's excited about my greatest find ever as well. I'm just letting you know that. But I think that he's going to convince me otherwise that you should have it. Michael was a movie that came out in 1996. I'm a huge John Travolta fan. This movie was fantastic. If you have not had the opportunity to see this or another movie of his that was really good from the 90s. He had a couple of good, great movies in the 90s. Face Off was one of them. Uh, Michael and then of course Phenomenon. If you haven't seen any of those, definitely see it. This is basically an angel that comes to Earth. Don't know what your religious beliefs are. Um, I don't really talk about those on the channel much but I think it's a really good movie and I think it sends a great message out to everybody so definitely go out and see Michael if you haven't already it's a good movie trust me Braveheart I don't think this needs any introduction I did not get to see this in the movie theater but let me tell you something and I'm telling you something right now. When I saw the theatrical trailer for this in 94, 95, I want to say it was 95. I was blown away by it. It just has a very different feeling to it. A lot of movies uh, don't typically come with two. This one does. This is an extremely long movie. I forget how long it is exactly. And of course I can't read it because there's a sticker over it. But it's cool. This is probably over three hours long. And things are just randomly falling um this is a great movie i don't know like if any of my words can do justice how good this movie is so um but it is based on a struggle um way back when like in our history i guess back in the day would be an incorrect uh description of it it took place i believe um I don't even know what year it was. It's been so long since I watched this. I actually want to watch this on VHS because I've got a VHS kick, right? Um, but this took place many, many, many years ago. Um, the struggle between Scotland and England when England ruled over Scotland. So it's, uh, I don't know if it's 100% historically accurate because, you know, movies can stretch things because they have to make money and stuff like that. But the performance and it, the performances in this, other than just Mel Gibson, every other actor in it is just fantastic. So, if you haven't already, there's many ways to see this. Um, definitely, definitely watch. A must watch. And what do we got here? We'll go over these two at the same time. I debated on whether to get these or not, but I see the third one, I think, very frequently. I've not seen these ones very frequently, so Lethal Weapon, Action Comedy, and it's hilarious. Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, and then the later ones that had a lot of other actors, but uh, they're great. I only have two and four, which is really going to make me angry, because I like to have, not drop things, I like to have um, complete um, series of movies as you can see with my horror collection, um, at least in this format. So I'll be excited to add the other one. I could get the third one probably tomorrow if I really tried to go to, um, I think, sorry, I see it as savers all the time. I don't know about the first one though, so we'll see. But definitely great movies. Super excited to add those to the 
regular VHS collection as opposed to the horror collection because clearly this is not horror but it's funny. What else we got here? We're gonna go with another Mel Gibson movie. The Patriot. Mel Gibson's performance in pretty much any one of his movies is outstanding. He's such a great actor. Heath Ledger's performance. He's more well known for the Joker. At least um, from what I've seen and what people have talked about with him and his performance and that is, I don't even need to get into it, enough people have talked about it, it is phenomenal and no one will ever touch that. But his performance in this one as well in a lot of his movies, he's very similar. Um, unfortunately, he did pass away many, many years ago, but um, his performance in this was fantastic and it's uh, another historically based movie. I believe it's based in the years of the Civil War, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. It could have been a lot. So it could have been a lot earlier than that. It might have been the Revolutionary War setting. I can't remember off the top of my head. But this is a really good movie, and uh, definitely give it a watch. Sleepy Hollow. I've seen this. And I thought it was pretty good. It's a Tim Burton film. Of course, it has Johnny Depp in it, as most of his films do, other than Batman and Beetlejuice. So, um, pretty good. I liked it. And I wanted to get it on VHS because it's a horror movie. I actually have a, uh, a copy of Sleepy Hollow, but I don't want to say it's a cartoon, but it's uh it's another movie but it has the same name it's it's the same story basically but of course you know this one's a little bit different and this was originally at a blockbuster uh january 22nd 2001 this thing is almost 20 years old that's wild i feel pretty old right now how about you folks out there pretty good movie definitely see it if you get a chance place academy because for 99 cents, why would I pass up on Police Academy? I think I like the first two. The third one, and I believe there's a fourth one. Eh, it's alright. This one's hilarious, though. So, <laughs> you want a good laugh, definitely go see that. I'm just knocking things over all over the place. Just one of those days. New Jack City. Not something I see very commonly on VHS. Hardly ever. I've probably seen it maybe one other time. You know, you got Wesley Snipes in it, Ice T, Mario Van Pebbles, or Peebles, sorry. Awesome movie. Uh, kind of reminds me of another movie that Wesley Snipes was in. Very similar. No, it wasn't this. It was uh, Trespass. I don't know why. It's just maybe it's the cover. But uh, still. Pretty good movie. I haven't watched it in a very long time. This movie was released back in 1991, so pretty old. But uh, hey, VHS never go out of style. Try to tell me otherwise. I right, don't. I don't want to get in an argument. Speaking of Travolta, Face Off. When I saw this movie, I was blown away. Not only are the actors' performances fantastic, the mix, and I think this was the only time that Travolta and Cage, if I can remember, were actually in a movie. Um, the concept of this movie is Travolta has to impersonate Cage, but he can't just do it as, like, you know, put on disguise, per se, um, for whatever reason. So they actually change each other's faces. From one to another so I don't want to give too much away of the movie I'm sure a lot of people have seen this I believe this came out in 96 but when I saw this like just the just the acting in it alone was great and um, all the action was and great story so definitely give it a whoa definitely give it a view <laughs> a read <laughs> National Lampoon's Animal House Look at how great these covers were. Covers, like, back then, just different. I know we've talked about it a lot, so I won't beat that dead horse, but you can't deny that. And that's such an awesome movie. I don't think I need to say anything about it. It's just an awesome movie. It's a classic. All right. 
Ferris Bueller's day is up. Ferris Bueller's day off. Another classic. I've never owned this on VHS. I thought I did at one point. I thought I had the DVD at one point. I don't even believe I have, but I've seen this movie a dozen times. A lot of times I've seen it on TV, so. Another classic. What can you say? The Untouchables. Talk about acting. Look at this powerhouse acting right here. Andy Garcia. Kevin Costner. Sean Connery. And of course, as Al Capone himself, Robert De Niro. This movie is awesome. It's not 100% historically correct to my knowledge, as most movies have said not. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but um, this is based on when Al Capone was a mob boss and a group of police, which was very, very different back then from where it is now, um, went after him because they could never get Al Capone for anything. And that was before... All the different techniques and strategies and technology that we have today. But to my knowledge, the way they got Al Capone, tax evasion. That's how they got him. So after all the alleged things that Al Capone did, he got busted for tax evasion. Always make sure you pay the man because the man will come for you. Great movie. Out of sight. I like George Clooney as an actor. Batman and Robin. I don't know if anybody really likes that. I'd really like to... I might just search at some point in time on YouTube or somewhere else to see if there's anybody who has anything positive to say about that movie. I don't know if you're going to find it. But that isn't that. This is actually a pretty good movie. Um, his character in this kind of reminds me, not 100%, but uh, similar to the one that was in uh, Dust Till Dawn, which is another awesome horror movie, and it's one of the movies from Quentin Tarantino. So uh, This is also starring Jennifer Lopez, so definitely check it out. And just look at that cover. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's got a giant gun on it. And it looks like a 45 or a 357, so pretty cool. Another one there out of the collection. Almost through. Happy Gilmore. Again, I'm just getting bangers today. If you haven't seen Happy Gilmore, I don't know what to tell you. I think I have Billy Madison on VHS, but don't quote me. I know I have it on DVD. This movie is awesome. And if I ever played golf... Or attempted to. This would probably be me. I'm not going to lie. This has such great actors in it. And it even has a uh, cameo from um, Bob Barker. From The Price is Right. And uh, the exchange between him and um, Adam Sandler. It's just. You can't touch this. This is 90's gold right here. Billy Madison. Happy Gilmore. Waterboy. Like any almost anything, Punch Drunk Love, I think it's a very uh, unique movie. I like it. Um, not a lot of people were big fans of it, but a lot of big fans of this um, for a lot of folks. So definitely check that out. And a few more to go. A Bronx Tale. You've heard of Goodfellas. You've heard Casino. Scarface. Some of the classic movies the godfather i should get that on vhs i've seen that once or twice i just haven't pulled the trigger but i think i'm gonna soon uh a bronx tale robert de niro Chaz Pomentary. this is a great movie again the acting it is just top-notch fantastic it has a very different outlook on necessar not necessarily how the mob works from within but how other people will work around the mob and how they react to how they are. So, awesome. Fantastic movie. 
Now these two are not going to be for me, but I'm going to try to build up this collection again and then we'll see where it takes us. So H2O on VHS, only 99 cents. You can't beat that for a buck. I found two horror movies, well three horror movies on VHS in one day. Well, a couple different times, but I don't typically find that. So H2O, super excited to see that. And then Scream, the widescreen edition, which I believe mine, yep, mine's the full screen edition. So if you don't know anything about these movies and you watch my channel, then I don't know. I mean, maybe you're just interested in what I get, the thrifting, or maybe you just like my nonsense bookshelf. Um, but this restarted the uh, horror genre when it was pretty much dead and gone. And this is actually made by somebody who contributed to this movie along with uh, a little bit more on the sequel of Scream 2. So let me tell you. If you've never seen a movie that was funny and could be scary at times to some folks um, and very self-aware, this was it. Wes Craven, rest in peace. You came up with some great things. Nightmare on Elm Street, The Last House on the Left with Sean Cunningham. I just watched that pretty recently. And uh, it's been a long time since I've seen that, but I watched it within the last week. It's definitely a different feeling movie, a different feeling movie than it would obviously Freddy Krueger because of budget and whatnot, but I don't know what I'd want to say about that. I don't know. That's a, that's a very difficult movie, um, but still the great Wes Craven, rest in peace. Fantastic movie. I like Scream 1, Scream 2, Scream 3, eh, it was okay, Scream 4. That's honestly one I could say I wasn't a fan of. Just wasn't. I liked that all the original cast were there, but the story just didn't jive for me. But hey, it's cool. So we got some great VHS finds. Now, let's get into some other stuff. Some grab bags. Because why not? I got this because this is one of the coolest small scaled hulks i've ever seen it's from 2008 i don't believe it's a mcdonald's toy or anything like that because it's too big but i've just never seen this before he's awesome the hulk is a great character not a lot of articulation but more than i expected so a side articulation as opposed to like a bend in one like for the knees or whatever but it's the hulk you can't go wrong with the hulk let me see if I can get him to stand up. That'll be the more interesting thing right there. Okay. Eh, we're going to put him down. That, that's going to take us too long. And this guy right here. Uh, 2012. I have no idea what this guy is, but he looks cool. Let me know if you have... I probably should turn him around, right? Let me know if you have any idea... Who this guy is, but uh, he's got some articulation. But <laughs> I have no idea, none. I've seen him before. I just can't place him, so it still looks cool. And I came, I got it because of the Hulk. So there's only one other grab bag. I'm not really going after those, and you'll understand soon why. I promise. Bebop. I believe that this. Oh, that's going to be difficult. You're testing my eyes now. I'm getting old. Um, this was probably a much later release, obviously. I used to have the original, but uh, surprisingly, Bebop still has a crowbar. You got that awesome purple mohawk. I don't remember Bebop having a uh, purple... I don't even know what you call that. Underbeard? Half a beard? A chin strap? But not really because it doesn't go i don't know i'm like reading too much into this and did he really have that tattoo um but still it's a cool looking bebop and i don't very see i don't often see bebop i see the turtles i see many incarnations of them but uh i don't usually see bebop very often so pretty cool oh excuse me i've had like no sleep you know a little bit but uh i worked late last night and i had to wake up early today 
I don't love those clothes. Nope, there goes that grab bag. Uh, Rocksteady, on the other hand, actually doesn't have any hands. So, yeah, he's uh, he's missing his hands. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, they're gone. And that happens with these toys because you can pull them apart pretty, pretty quickly. But I'm going to see if I can see about this date. Maybe I might get luckier. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with dates. I think it's because I always try to, you know, give some authenticity to these figures and uh, give them the respect they deserve. So, and uh, that's not happening. So, Rocksteady without hands. He's got arms. He's got legs. He doesn't have any um, accessories, but Bebop's crowbar somehow still is in his hand. And Rocksteady is missing his hands. That rhymed. That was weird. Okay, well, cool. Um, moving on, I guess. <laughs> these are really interesting. I was gonna hold off on these, but uh, I gotta get them. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta look at these. You good with that? Sorry. Is it cause I'm wearing? It's cause I'm wearing the the Voyager shirt, right? Not yours. Okay, real talkative crowd around here. Disney treasures. These are something I have never seen before. I believe that they're based on the very early cartoons from the 30s. And they're in DVD form. But, well, this one, I believe, doesn't have the authenticity. Maybe it does. Maybe it's in here. Uh... This one doesn't have the uh, certificate of authenticity, but the other one does. It's a two-disc DVD set. I have never seen these before. I don't know what they are, where they came from. I'm wondering if they come from Walt Disney themselves. But they've got a couple of... Um... Oh, this is... Uh... Alright, so this cartoon... This is the groundbreaking series of 31 uncensored cartoons. Oh, wow! Whoa, because cartoons were censored back then, but not in the way that I believe that we would infer it to be. So, 1929 to 1939, it provides an astonishing look inside the evolution of animation. Wow, this looks like this is going to be really good. Like, I want to put this on right now. Uh, let me see here. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that says where it would be from, and of course it isn't, but... Um, I have no idea where this is from, but I've never seen this before, so. Pretty cool. Super excited to add this to the collection for sure. Look at that artwork. And we got to give you the full look, because I'm just sitting here looking at it like, ooh, ooh, ooh. and yeah, there we go. Look at that. Tell me that is not artwork. So this is the very first Silly Symphony. Was, oh, the very first Silly Symphony was Flowers and Trees. It premiered on July 30th, 1932 at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. It was you. This image was used as a poster for that theatrical release. So back in the 30s, they would put cartoons on uh, in movie theaters, which is funny because check out Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You've got that. You get that uh, where I was going with that, but uh, that's still pretty cool. And I do get another one. Like I was super excited to find these because I've just never seen them, and uh, they look really cool. And the fact that we can get some history and some Disney stuff—that's awesome. So, let me put this one back together. Disney treasures. Let me know if you've ever heard of this before. I have no idea because I certainly haven't. And the other one is uh, Tomorrowland. Again, same concept. But that had nothing to do. Actually, it's the same concept, but this has to do with, uh, let me see here. Oh, this is, uh, 1955, so that's pretty cool. Now, this one does, if I remember when I checked it out when I opened it, have the Certificate of Authenticity, which it does. So this is, oh, wow. Oh, I really wish I had the other one. I gotta, I gotta search through it a little later after the video. Um, this was number 
34,361 out of 105,000 of these made. So that's pretty special. It doesn't say a year on there, but that's still awesome. There's raw materials, rare materials selected from the Walt Disney Studios archives and preserved in this special offering. Wow, that's awesome. Like, Wow, that's wild. Uh, it's got some other booklets in here as well. Uh, I think this one, oh yeah, it's a double disc as well. So, I don't know. Super interested in that. And uh, definitely going to look this up because I've never seen it before. And I didn't have a chance to um, when I was at the thrift at whatever point this week. So, pretty cool. Definitely great finds. Like, <laughs> I said I was going to slow down on the DVDs and explain it. But uh, I see something like this, I'm grabbing this because it's really interesting. And uh, glad I did. All right, what else we got? We got a few more things when we get to the grand finale. All right. This is a weird one. But it's a genie lamp from 1993. Because what was going on in 1993? Oh, that's right, Aladdin. This isn't Aladdin, though. But it's cool because I don't have a life-size genie lamp. I wonder if uh, it opens. Ooh, it does open. So maybe if I rub it, and I'll be given, uh, I'll be granted three wishes. I don't know. Pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? All right. Move this out of the way. A Super Mario DVD. I'll never, ever, ever pass up on. I might actually have this with the series that I have that I got a while ago on one of the fifth time and finds, but it's a Super Mario DVD. Why would I pass that up? Adventures in Babysitting. Another uncommon DVD that I don't see very often. I've never seen the VHS before, except in the rental stores and a long, long time ago. But uh, this is a pretty good movie. I saw this a long, long time ago, so, yeah, it's a pretty cool movie, and uh, definitely check it out. Some 90s gold, I believe, or is it 80s gold? Ooh, I've got to question myself now. Oh, I have shamed myself. This is 87, so this is technically 80s gold, but it's right around the 90s, so, pretty cool. One game, I forgot, Call of Duty. World at War for the Xbox 360. One, I don't have this game, and two, I'm kind of trying to add some things to the collection of Xbox 360. Not too many, but uh, still. Extremely uncommon DVD that I've never seen before, except for right now. Game related. I think I went into um, how much uh, I was into listening to Tupac, everything about him a couple of episodes ago, so definitely looking to complete that collection. These aren't going to be released on Blu-ray. I don't think there's a lot of different legal reasons why. There's a lot of different distributors, and I don't believe, uh, I think Poetic Justice is on Blu-ray. I think Juice might be. This isn't, and I think that's it. That's it. So there's a few of them missing, but uh, this is actually Tupac's last movie. Um, that was released so pretty good movie Belushi Tupac Dennis Quaid's in it too. So it's an interesting group and uh, James Earl Jones. You can't pass up on him Darth Vader All right, cool. Let me get some weird stuff out of the way After we go over a few more videos apparently stop it on the DVDs he says finally I found this and the disc wasn't a wreck the Venom Saga. Anything with Venom or Carnage, you know I'm getting. So, it don't matter what I say. Awesome. I just wish I knew when this was from. I don't think it was from the 1994 series. No, it's the latest series. But you know what? That's okay. It's Venom. It's all good. You hear the sequels coming out at some point, but we don't know when. That's all right. All good. Just move some, move some guys around here. Mr. Rocksteady with no arms. 
Transformers the movie. I got this a little while ago, but this is the anniversary edition, so it has a couple extra special features in it. And uh, how can you pass up on anything Transformers? Because the show was awesome. I wasn't really into the figures. I got a few here and there, but it just didn't grab me like that. But the show was just great. Such a great 80s cartoon. These are the last of the DVDs. But they're not for me. They're for somebody else at some other point. Dragon Ball Z. Maybe I might watch a few of them. Season 4, or sorry, Season 5, and Dragon Ball Z Season 3. I very rarely see these show up at any of the thrifts I go to, but uh, not really my cup of tea. Uh, I think it's cool. I've watched a bunch of them. My, uh, my best friend was really into this when we were growing up, but just look at this artwork. And if you've ever seen anything with Dragon Ball Z, it's, uh, it's just awesome. They got some great artwork in this, you know. Definitely check it out. At one point, this was $31.99. And I got this for just a couple of bucks. And that is why the thrift is great. Okay. Cool. What else we got? We got one more thing of nonsense. Completely unnecessary thickness. For me, at least. That came out really wrong, but whatever. Uh, these are these are component cables, or composite, I should say, rather. They could be component, too, because, you know, you got the blue one. They could be either one. So, actually, this is pretty interesting now that I think about it, because this is component and composite mixed into one. So that's pretty cool. So you got the red, white, and yellow, and then you've got the green, blue, and white. So pretty cool. It looked like it was a really long... Uh, cable so in case I wanted to run something from one side of the room or another I could do that and just for a couple of bucks I ain't gonna pass that up because I don't I don't know I think something like this would probably be like I've seen him go for a, not this exact thing but I've seen something similar to this size go for about like I don't know 20 bucks 25 30 maybe depending it could be less now but uh still cool fine no complaints there and before we get into the grand finale I've got ducks, I've got Care Bears, I've got Winnie the Pooh, I've got a multitude of Michael Myers masks. I happen to have him hanging out with me tonight. I've got poop, I've got more poop, I've got one-ups, I've got a duck, and i got a green-headed duck. What's the one thing I don't have? And I'm not saying the multicolored ducks. I don't know if I'll ever find those, but... We're going to add another animal to the collection. It's a pig. What? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going to put him, but he's going up there. He's awesome. Look at the little piggy. I don't even know what this is like made out of. I don't want to break it, but uh, I think it's almost like... I don't want to say it's glass. I don't want to say it's ceramic. I don't know. It's tough to say. Maybe it's um, paper mache. I can't really tell, but uh, he's pretty cool, and he's definitely going up there somewhere, but uh, I mean, kind of run out of space, but uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we always figure it out, right? So, pretty cool. No complaints. Now, let's get to the grand finale, shall we? <sighs> All right. Let's see what we got. I had to put this one to the side because she's heavy. Oh my god. I thought VHSs were heavy. This thing's out of control. A little bit of acting, but it is really heavy. This is very special to me. I have looked for one of these for well over a year. It's the one thing I never got. This is a laser disc player. And these typically go anywhere between 100 bucks to over 1,000. Not this particular model, but just them in, new, in, in general. So with this one, it does turn on, it does work. 
the disk drive that comes in and out to get the uh, the disk has a little trouble going back in with a little bit of weight to it. I don't know enough about these. I've never kind of messed around with like things like that. I've gotten DVD players to work, like the spinning function and like a multiple a multi um, disc DVD player. I've messed around with the VHS player. Got that working before. I've taken apart two entire printing presses. I took graphic arts in high school and I had to learn how to do that. I took it apart piece by piece and put it all back together. And that was a very long time ago, but, uh, and I'm not very mechanically inclined, so let's not get that twisted, but I'd like to be able to try to fix this. But it's working for the time being, so I'm happy for it. And what is Laserdisc, do you ask? Just so happens to be that, uh, Happen to have a laser disc there too. There's actually three of them there, and three of them don't have any interest for me. Two things of what was it? Another weird movie that has no interest to in me whatsoever. It doesn't matter if it was laser disc. Couldn't matter if it was you know whatever. It just didn't have any interest in me. And then uh, Huckleberry Finn, I believe the '96 edition with uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I want to say. And then uh, another edition, like just a, you know, made-for-TV movie or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just didn't interest me. But I never owned this movie. So we got Miracle on 34th Street. Really good movie. It's a classic. It came out originally in the 40s. And I think this was remade, I think, in the 70s. But I believe this is just the color version of the original, so... Really good. As soon as I got home, I put this thing on. I wanted to make sure it worked. And that's how I figured out, obviously, about the disc problem. But does it look good? <sighs> Are you ready for this? I was blown away. Now, mind you, before I pull this out, I know a drum roll, please. Do -do 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 -do. When I was younger and I saw commercials on these, I was blown away. But these things were so expensive, like, pfft. nah, wasn't happening. But now I can relive that childhood dream. And you're about to see a laser disc. What? <laughs> I'm going as close as I can for this. <laughs> it's, it's just a really big DVD at the end of the day. Um, but this, you know, DVDs preceded this, so this was around before. This has been around. Actually, this technology was actually around in the uh, 70s and became very uh, prevalent in the 80s and 90s. And then, of course, DVDs took over. But just look at that. That is like a, uh, that is a weapon. Like, it's crazy, right? It's got two sides, so the good thing about DVDs is that and I'm not going to keep doing that because you're probably getting a lot of light and everything, but still pretty cool. Um, the thing about DVDs is DVDs are right on one disc, if not two discs, and typically you don't have to remove them to start the movie. But with these, after it gets to a certain chapter, you have to flip, you have to pull it out, flip it over, and then see it again. So it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, I watched through most of it when my first time I actually watched the second half. And then shut it off, excuse me, and then shut it off, um, before, you know, when I realized that I was like, I'm halfway through the movie, this doesn't make any sense, but I'm super excited for this. I have hunted down a few others. As you know, the rabbit hole was just waiting for me to get into. So I have found a few others, which will go over in a future video once I get them. Nothing crazy. Am I going to go full out and try to get every horror movie? On Laserdisc, no, because those are extremely expensive, extremely rare, and it's very hard to come across a deal. I might have a few out there that I'll get, but I won't get, like, full completion sets, like, you know, I have Friday the 13th and Halloween and, uh, not I Man Street or Child's Play or anything like that, like I have, because, oh, my God, I gotta stop yawning, so I, it's just too much money, and, um, I'll just get a few of them, I'm sure, but. The good thing about Laserdisc is that some of the features on here 
not this particular movie. Some of the features on some of these were never released again. Not on VHS, not on DVD, not on Blu-ray, not on 4K or UMD or UHD, whatever it is. Uh, the newest, fanciest thing, which looks really good. But um, For example, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5 has a deleted sequence. A lot of deleted sequences because the MPPA, like with every one of those movies pretty much, hacked it to pieces. And what we got was not the director's original um, direction. Not as bad as Part 5 for Friday the 13th. But, or part seven, but still a lot of it got cut off. But one of the scenes is actually on the laser disc. Now, you don't get to choose menus or anything on these, it's just usually if there's any special features after the movie's done, it will play afterwards. So, and you can still fast forward and rewind on a lot of these things. And it's a lot more smoother than it is with the Blu rays. The DVDs were okay, but the VHS was obviously the best. That's the one I was, you know, I grew up with. but this one's pretty smooth for a CD based thing and uh, I've read up and watched a lot of videos on um, on the laser disc and I'm super excited to you know jump into that rabbit hole something funny to say but start collecting them but not going crazy like I don't want like a thousand of them I've got enough stuff but I certainly want a good amount of them because watching it on even that little TV that I have um, it just blew my mind. Like, the picture wasn't the greatest because of the TV I'm using, but you can actually hook these up to the newer TVs. I'd more go along the lines of the TV that I actually play um, my gaming systems on, my old retro gaming systems on, if I don't have them hooked up to the, um, the, the, the CRT box. So, let me know down in the comments section down below what you think of that. Because, I'll tell you... That is definitely my find of the day for sure. But I want you to take a look at everything real quick. Let me know what you think because this video has gone on long enough. What was your favorite thing that, you, that I found? Was it the pig? The Disney? The VHS? The laser disc? Or was it the laser disc player? You let me know down in the comment section down below, as always. And to the 75 folks out there who have decided to join and stick with the House of Fun and Video Games, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And when you do, or if you have already, hit that notification bell because you never know what's going to be coming up on this channel. There's a lot of things that I want to get out. There's a ton of content I've been thinking about. I actually have video... For another video before this along with other ideas it's just chaos everything's chaos and not in a bad way but a good way but times everything and i know i've talked about that enough but let me know down in the comment section down below as always what was your favorite thing we found today and i like to get in some great positive conversations as always and i'd say that pretty much wraps up the video i did want to talk about some other things but unfortunately the video has gone on a little too long a little longer than i wanted so we'll do a separate update from the house of fun and video games to go over some stuff that's missing in action so this is jason jason house of fun and video games i hope you have a wonderful night it is close enough to the weekend so we're going to say our normal spiel i hope you have a great weekend enjoy the rest of the week and i will see you in the next video look at that hoke he's awesome